Okay, people. Yes, nitrogen cycle. Please take note. I think most of my students already used to this. So nitrogen, okay, remember, yeah? Nitrogen can be converted into what? Ammonium ions. Okay, people. If you're still writing ammonia compound, change it. Okay? Change to ammonium ions because the syllable want you to write down ammonium ion. Okay, and then you change into nitrate. The arrow is the conversion, yeah? Right or not, Louis? You change into nitrite and you change into nitrate. So once you change into nitrate, the plant can absorb the nitrate by active transport. Okay? And remember, nitrate will be used by the plant to make protein. Okay, easy. Remember, yeah? The nitrate will be used by the plant to make protein. So the protein will, will be eaten by the herbivores. People okay? Remember? The plant will be eaten by herbivores. So the protein in the plant, okay, will enter the herbivores. All right, guys, what happens when they die? So dead plant and dead animal, they will get decomposed back into ammonium ions. Okay, write down your... Which one that you want me to repeat, Jared? Oh, dead plant and dead animal, once they decompose, they will become ammonium ion. Okay, no worries. You write down the process now. Guys, first one, nitrogen fixation. If you are converting the nitrogen, it's always nitrogen fixation. It can be like this, yeah? Look here, people, very important. It can be converted into ammonium ion. It can be straight away converted into nitrate. But both are nitrogen fixation. You are fixing the nitrogen. Okay, nitrogen fixation. Usually by who? Okay, nitrogen fixation is by a bacteria in the root nodule. Okay, so this root nodule is like the bulging area, yeah? Okay, imagine it's like a tiny little balls in the root. Okay, we call them as the root nodule. So this root nodule contains bacteria. And the bacteria will convert nitrogen into ammonium ion. Yes, nitrogen fixing bacteria, correct. Okay, very good. So the next one is you are converting into nitrite. So nitrification. Okay, this is also nitrification. Last one is decomposition. Okay, of course, people look here in front, very important. You can reverse it. You can reverse the nitrate into nitrogen. Okay, and this is known as denitrification. Remember, yeah, in biology, okay, I want to emphasize this. In biology, whenever you see the word D, means it is a reverse process. Yeah, okay, very good. How about the bacteria? The bacteria, you just have to add ing at the back, meaning that if it's nitrogen fixation, it's nitrogen fixing bacteria, just add the ing. If it's nitrification, nitrifying bacteria. If it's denitrification, denitrifying bacteria. Done, that's it. Okay, simple as that. Remember, yeah, nitrogen fixation can be from here to here also. Okay, you can skip the middle part. You can do that. Lightning also can correct. Hi, Shinju. Yes, lightning also can. Firing part. Oh, the firing part is just the bacteria. So if you want to write the name of the bacteria, just add the ing at the back. Denitrifying bacteria. Wait up. Okay, my bacteria is missing. You guys add on, yeah. Uh, D, yes, correct. Okay, denitrifying bacteria convert nitrate back to nitrogen. Okay, you follow the arrow. The arrow shows you the conversion. All right, okay, awesome. By understanding this chart, let's answer the question, shall we? Okay, first one. Okay, you guys tell me, what is A? Before we answering, write down first, what is A? 
decomposition. Thank you, Alice. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you, Declan. Good job. Deco decomposition. All right, plus what? Plus nitrification. It's two process, yeah? Okay, you see, guys? From here to here. So meaning that you have to mention this whole thing. It's two process. Decomposition and nitrification. Okay, good job. What is B then? Nitrogen fixation. Yes, always remember, you are fixing the nitrogen. Thank you. Very good. Nitrogen fixation. Okay, C is denitrification. Very good. Okay, so remember to add on the bacteria and you're good to go. So you write down first. When you write down, it's easier for you to answer the question later on. Okay, people? All right, describe the process A, B, C. So you can say that process A is decomposition. All right. Okay, decomposition, yeah. And nutrification. So you explain, huh? All right, date, organism, are decomposed. Okay, there is no specific bacteria. You, say, you just say bacteria. Decomposed by bacteria. Okay, to form, remember, yeah, ammonium ion. To form ammonium ion. Okay, ammonium ion. So ammonium ion converted to nitrate by nitrifying bacteria. Okay, so you mentioned the bacteria. Easy. All right, people. Okay, come. Process A is decomposition. Always remember, people, in biology, it's very straightforward. You give the name of the process, you get one marks. Always. Okay, decomposition one marks and nitrification. Okay, decompose by bacteria. Okay, good enough to form ammonium ion. Ammonium ion converted okay, to nitrate by nitrifying bacteria. So you mentioned the process, you mentioned the bacteria, you get three marks already. Okay, done. So process B. Wait, ah. Process B is nitrogen fixation. Okay, so you can say that nitrogen converted to nitrate by what? By nitrogen fixing bacteria. If can give the location. In this uh, topic, yeah, for the first one, they want you to give the location. Okay, in the root nodule. Very important. Okay, process C is denitrification. By who? By denitrifying bacteria. Done. Yes, correct. Okay, good. Okay, so this one is nitrogen fixation. Always remember in biology, process is one mark. Okay, you explain the process. By nitrogen fixing bacteria in the root nodule. You get six marks already. Easy, done. But you can add on your points. Process C is denitrification. Okay, by denitrifying bacteria. Okay, done. So you get full marks. So you see how people, if you don't want to mention bacteria, also can. You still get the marks one. But if you can mention the bacteria. Okay, next one, people. State the name of the process where the plant absorbs ions. Active transport. Always remember, water by osmosis. Ions is active transport oh people one more thing yeah i realized that in ig they haven't asked you to draw root hair cells first they haven't asked you to draw root hair cells yeah yet okay so please train yourself how to draw the root hair cells okay i think most of you should be expert already right right scott
One, this is your favorite drawing, right? Okay, guys, what is the rule of drawing in, taxi, uh, in biology? First, no shading. No shading. Okay, draw nicely. Second thing, if you want to label, straight line labeling. Let's say I want to label vacuole like this. No arrowhead. Okay, if I want to mention nucleus like this, no arrowhead. So make sure you know how to draw your, draw your root hair cells, yeah? Okay, always remember, water is absorbed by osmosis. If it's ions, it's always active transport. Okay, done. Why no hit? What, what is why no hit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Only, only paper four. What do you mean by why no hit? What hit you want? No arrow hit. <laughs> yes, got my two conjure, of course, but I don't draw it because uh, you can laugh. Okay, of course. Guys, every cell has mitochondria, except red blood cells. Okay, <laughs> mitochondria, yes. You need, it. you need mitochondria for respiration to release energy for active transport. Yeah, of course, no problem. You can draw mitochondria. You can draw the ribosome, sure. Can one? Yes, thank you, that, uh, De Darren, correct. Okay, all the cells give. I, I'm talking about plant cells and animal cells uh -huh, in general. They have mitochondria, except the red blood cells. Okay, but bacteria and viruses, no mitochondria. All right, 